Hi, this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and today I want to tell you about a wonderful program that I'm participating in. I was invited by YouTuber Maymay Helms from Maymay Made It to participate in Cards for Love. And this is where we make cards for the troops and the kids at St. Jude's Hospital. So several channels are getting together and we're going to come up with some greeting cards to send to the kids and to the troops. I'll put all the details down in the description box and there's also a contest that you can get into for every card that you send in. I'll put the address in the description box along with the dates that it starts and when it ends. So let's get started. Right now I have some card stock and for these cards they have to be five by seven. So I'm going to do two cards. I'm going to show you how I'm going to make these. Uh, let's go ahead and make the cards for the troops first. So I've got my red card stock. And I thought I would do a blue. And all the supplies that I'm using today, I will go ahead and post it in the description. So I want something that looks like a Christmas tree. And I'm just going to do this freehand. That's my Christmas tree, believe it or not. And I really want to have fun with this, so I don't want to get real fancy. So all I have is a glue stick, and I'm going to put some of that on here, on the back of my triangle. And the paper I'm using is from Colorbox. It's called, it's a designer paper. And it comes in these cute colors. It's a nice variety of colors too. So I'm going to move that up to the top just a little bit. Just so that it's in the center. And I also found at Walmart these cute little theme stickers for my cards. So there's several of them. And I thought I'd use one of these stars, which reminds me of the troops, to put at the top of my tree. So this one right here, I really like it. I'm going to just take one of those. And it's already pretty much will stick on there. So I'm just going to put that right at the top. And you notice my card is not like really fancy. Just want to make sure you can see that. And I'm going to take a couple more stars. Let's see. And I'm going to maybe put a few of these in the corners. You could also use hot, a hot glue gun also to glue these on. Okay, I want to add a little bit more to it. So 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the back of this white paper. It's actually the blue paper, but I want to use all of it. So I'm just going to cut like a little bit of a, a strip here. And I know a lot of people who make cards use car, uh, paper cutters. I don't have one yet, but I'm looking to get one because I think this is something that I'm going to want to do long term. And I'm just going to put some glue on the back of this. And place it right there. And you can have the kids do this. I want it to be as simple um, as can as possible just to show you that it doesn't have to be really fancy so that the kids can join in too and not feel like they have to come up with something incredible. But the thought of giving something to someone during the holidays is going to be absolutely fabulous and much, much appreciated. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my pen. And if you want, you can take um, markers and have the kids write messages. And I'm going to write a little message in here. And if you have a fairly neat handwriting, you can write a message in or you can type it up or you can use stamps. Stamps would be wonderful too. But I just want to show you, you don't have to have a whole lot of supplies to do this. I'm going to put happy holidays. I'm just making my letters a little bit thicker. And you could even go over it as much as you want. It's just remember to have fun with it and that it's your creation. I want my letters a little bit thicker there. And I could have actually used the Sharpie as well. Okay, and I think I'm pretty good with my letters, and I may go back and touch them up a little bit more. So I just want you to get the idea. I was so happy when I was asked to do this, and I'm also encouraging a lot of you to do it as well, to participate, because the more the better. What what? thoughtful, thoughtful gift it would be to send cards to the troops and to the children at St. Jude's. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I feel like I need a little bit more maybe to, to outline the tree a little bit. So I've got my bag full of stuff here. And 
And I'm just going to take my Crayola marker in blue, and I'm just going to outline this very gently. I think they picked the perfect name for this too. Cards for the number four and love. I always love stuff, uh, doing things that I can, where I can give back and especially during the holidays. Okay, and this is just a simple, simple card. The inside I'm going to leave blank so that if someone wants to write a message inside of it, they can. And right around the tree, I just want to highlight a little bit more. I'm just using my pen to do that. And whatever you send in is going to be appreciated. And for every card that you send in, you get entered into a prize drawing. And I will put the details of that in the description box. Okay, and let's see what it looks like. Love it, love it. And I could get even more fancier with this if I wanted to, but that's a close-up of what that card looks like. And I think I'm going to do something around the outside of it. So I got it in my bag here. I'm going to take my marker and just along the outside. Just around the outside, just to give it a little bit more. I'm going to put this here so I protect the table there. And just that simple thing adds a little bit more to it. And I'm just doing this and having fun. I think that's enough for that, but I want to do my tree a little bit more of an outline on it. I'm just gently going along the edge here. Oop, I went a little bit on my card there, that's okay.
And like I said, it, this will be a nice family project. Everybody getting involved to do something good for someone else. All right, and I actually might go back and write a little message inside. Um, seasons greetings. Um, thank you so much for all you do. And so that's the first card. Now we're going to do another card for the kids. And this card actually is going to be a thank you card because a lot of times the kids want to say thank you to their doctors or their nurses while they're in the hospital. So I found some cute stickers. I thought these were really cute. I'm going to be using these. These I found at Walmart and I will list my supplies in the description box. And they were just cute little owl stickers. I did also find some sports inspired stickers too. So there's a big variety of stickers. But today I'm going to show you how I'm going to use these. So I've got my green paper and I want to brighten this one up a bit. Look at all the papers to choose from. But I am going to use this one. I like, I really like this one. It's nice and bright. And so what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to layer it. I was like looking at a lot of videos and I noticed people layer their cards and it gives it a little bit more character. I'm just going to bend it along here. I could use a ruler and you're welcome to use a ruler and measure everything out. But I think I'm going to just kind of freehand this and just come up with something. I got a little fold there. I'm just going to cut along that fold. And this will be fun to just sit around all day and just create cards. A little bit straighter. I know if I had a paper cutter, this would be a lot straighter than it is. Okay, and I'm just going to go along the outside of this. Get some glue, and you don't need a whole lot either, I notice. This glue works really well. It's easy to clean up. Okay, and I'm going to center that and leave some around the edge. Leave a little bit of room around the edge for that. And it, that looks nice because it leaves a nice little border. Then I'm going to take one of the other papers. I think this one will look nice on here. Let's see. Yes, that's going to look nice because it plays off the green and there's a little bit of green in here too. And I'm working with different textures, so I like that, or different patterns, I should say. All right, so I'm going to cut. 
And you notice I'm not really measuring, measuring. Yes, that's how I want it to be. Okay. I'm having it come up this way a little bit. Okay. And it doesn't have to be super perfect, but I wanted to share this idea with you without doing a whole lot of measuring. Maybe I'm going to cut this a little bit smaller. And these strips of paper are great because I'm going to still use these for a, another project down the road. So I like to save a lot of these strips of paper. Let's see if it looks good that way. Or I could have my leaves going up a little bit more. Okay. Pretty good with that. I'm going to have a message down here. Okay, and I am going to go ahead and put some glue on that. So you see how I'm building the layers on that card? It's going to look really cute because I love those colors and the way they pop. I may not buy any more cards after doing this. I'm still fairly new at this. Okay, and my message is going to go down here. See if I want that there. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, and I'm going to take a little bit more glue on here. And I'm just going to place it on there. Now imagine having your kids do this. Or if you have a classroom of kids, you can have the whole class do it. And if you decide to participate, you can do this up until August 31st. You can send your cards in. And I am going to post that address in the description box. And I'm not using any paper cutters. I'm just doing this freehand. And I got this idea actually from May May Helms at May May Made It, where you just kind of do it freehand without having to use any machines or or stamp so that's what I'm doing I'm just having fun with it and this is going to be one of the thank you cards for the kids and I'm going to get a marker to dark enough here. I've got so many markers and I am going to write thanks right across the Actually, I'm going to put thank you And 
Let's see our owl here. I'm going to take one of our owls. Let's see, which would look really cute. I like that pink one with the green in the middle. The green almost matches up. And if you want to use a hot glue gun, you can use the hot glue gun as well. I'm going to put our owl right there. All right. And let's see. I feel like we need something else right around here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of that matching paper, that pink with the circles on it. And what I'm going to do is cut out some circles. I'm just tracing with whatever I have here. This is so freehand right now. <laughs> and there's nothing like creating something for someone else. I'm going to do four of those. So I want one in each corner. All right, cut out my little circles. And you notice I'm just using whatever to, to make the circles, but I want them to be small enough. Great, I could sit all day. I wish I could sit all day and do this. I just love being able to create. This is gonna look so cute with the owls, with the owl in the circles. I think our owl needs some circles around it. It's coming together. And don't forget, have fun. That's the best thing is to have fun with it. All right. And for the kids card, I'm gonna leave it blank inside so that they can write a little message or if they wanna draw a little picture in there, that'll be cute too. But isn't that Absolutely the cutest little card. Okay, and the name of this program is Cards for Love. It starts July 22nd. It's going to end on August 31st. And you can also be put into a drawing for every card that you send in. And the details will be below in the description box. I do hope that you participate. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful way to give back 
uh, especially for the troops and for the kids at St. Jude's Hospital. So there's my two cards, and I'm going to go and make a whole bunch more. So I will see you real soon. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and share.